Yeah, so taurine, taurine is, is like a miracle of host of benefits and you don't need a lot of it. If you've heard about this supplement over the past few years, you've seen its rise in popularity for a good reason, where there was one study that came out in 2023 showing that taurine can extend the life of a mouse by 10%, which would translate to 10 years for people. But should you take taurine every single day? Well, I would even argue if you're not, you are at a competitive disadvantage. Similar to somebody not using AI in this modern world, where you are just gonna be out competing by everyone that does take this compound. Overall, taurine is a sulfur containing compound that is found in the highest concentrations in the brain, the heart, and in the retina of the eye. It essentially helps the CNS run more effectively by calming down the stress response, lowering excess inflammation, and reducing oxidation. It's very important for cognition where liver health affects brain health quite a bit where there's a strong correlation there. And even so for thyroid health, where the liver is responsible for converting T4 to T3, where taurine is remarkable for improving liver health, where it has been shown in some studies to reduce non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, as well as to reduce liver cirrhosis. And it does this by acting as a strong antioxidant within the liver. It also is a strong antioxidant within the brain and body. One of the main etologies or causes of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's is excitotoxicity, which is the excessive levels of glutamate causing damage and destruction to neurons, which they cannot recover, which leads to neuron loss and cognitive impairments where taurine can stop this by acting as a break to the gas that is glutamate, calming down the central nervous system, reducing excitotoxicity and improving overall brain health. And even with animals that have Alzheimer's conditions, it was able to improve learning. So there's absolutely something there. And it can even improve quality of life as taurine can oftentimes be the downer in a good way to the life stresses and struggles where anxiety disorders, depressive disorders are at an all time high. Taurine could help come in to save the day by calming the nervous system to help boost feelings of GABA. Gamma, it increases activity in a positive way in the hippocampus, which isn't just very important for memory, it's also very important for mood. And I feel like over the next few decades, it's gonna be one of the prime targets for new antidepressants, where depression results in a loss of neurogenesis within the hippocampus, and positive mood is a result of increased neurogenesis in the hippocampus, so it's a very good target to aim for. Another good thing to aim for is increasing testosterone, as there's so many phytoestrogens within our environment, BPAs, plastics, microplastics, everything that you name it. Taurine can help reduce oxidation within the testes, which are very susceptible to oxidation, where it can also improve DHT, which surprisingly to me is actually a very powerful antibiotic. Taurine is good for gut health with some of its byproducts, having powerful antifungal and antibiotic activity, as well as disrupting biofilms, which are essentially bacteria complexes that are their home and kind of prevent them from being destroyed in the body. As well as there's a very popular study in Japan showing that taurine reduced heart attack risk quite significantly. <laughs> Those are all the pros, but what about the cons? Well, they're kind of few and far in between. The biggest con would be that it can slightly impair cognition for those that are susceptible as it is primarily GABAergic. GABA is oftentimes antagonistic towards dopamine where you increase GABA, you decrease dopamine most of the time, not all of the time. And so because taurine acts as a GABA A agonist as well as a GABA B agonist, it can have this effect. I personally noticed this from taurine where I noticed it boosts my mood, but it hurts my ability to focus or practice active memory recall. So I mainly take it at night, which can be a win-win as it's calming, so it can just help you fall asleep easier. The best protocol for taurine is the one that works for you, except it's very scientifically validated and stupidly safe. You know, two grams a day keeps the doctor away. Overall, I would say the big takeaway from this video is that you should be supplementing taurine at least a little bit. And it is important nowadays as there is so much excess toxins and, and hormonal disruptors in the environment, so it's important to protect yourself. And this is an easy way to do it. Start with 500 milligrams, see how you feel with that dose, then you can increase it down to one to two grams or kind of stay at that dose, whatever works best for you. It is easy to access everywhere in the world and very economical. The brand doesn't matter too much as it's kind of hard to mess up taurine. So you can get it from your local vendor, ideally to get a vendor that has some reviews and positive support around it. 